Welcome back to Kenshi, everyone. So a little bit of a recap from last episode. So last episode, first off, we recruited Kathy, um, but we also did quite a lot of fighting and exploring. Um, around here, we fought off a bunch of wolves. Then we went down to Squin, fought a bunch more wolves. Um, then we went back, went back up to the hub. We explored a few things. There was this black tower which is right here the black tower um, we looked at that it wasn't very interesting but now so at the end of last episode I said that I would grind out money um, I did so we now have 19,000 cats which should be enough to get a settlement started up so unlike what I said last episode um, I don't think we're going to be able to just go directly to the northern coast. I don't think we're strong enough and we don't have enough people. So I think what we're going to do first is let's just try to recruit more people. Adventure Headhunter. Alright, yeah, let's just start over here. He has okay staff, I guess. How much do you want? I see how much is it. Uh, let's try not to go for any of you guys. You're pretty expensive. Recruits. Ah. Okay, that's kind of interesting. He can send recruits to our base. And when underwrites the cook, Rocco, how much do you want? 6,000 cats? No, thank you. <sighs> oh. Okay. He's just a uh, plastic surgeon. Okay. A rogue trader. We already saw what those guys do. A belt trader. Um, let's see what you have. Various belts. Who would have thought? Alright. String. How much do you want string? Ooh. Uh, except he's a worker hive, which means he's not all that great. Max. Ooh. Actually... Hmm, he might actually be a, uh, a Scorchlander. No, I guess not. He's not recorded. He's not able to be. Just recognized you. Yeah, good luck with that. Okay. Apparently this person has a 50,000 cat bounty on them. Uh, wow. Okay. They also have 81 attacks, so we're not going to be able to fight anywhere near them, unless we want to die horribly. Beating my space, and it looks like no one here wants to join us. That's kind of sad. So now that we've um, seen that no one here wants to actually join us, what I think we're going to do is that we're going to send Mitchell and Kathy to just go over to the black tower and grind up some copper that's actually where I ground up all of the money that we made off camera and we're gonna send Chuck and Izumi down to Auckland's pride to find a holy farm so that we can buy a pack animal so that we can transfer a lot of stuff and then for our base I don't know where do we want to set up our base I don't really want to set up here because it's fairly mountainous. Never been into the hidden forest. That might be interesting. Definitely not the skin sands. Uh, that's very dangerous. The swamp is probably fairly dangerous too. I mean, honestly, everywhere is pretty dangerous, but... Maybe we try somewhere in Auckland's Gulf. Like here-ish. That could be interesting. All right, where are our people? Let's just set it on third speed. All right, guys, I've just spotted a holy farm out in the distance. It's over here. We are sadly being forced to load. There we go. We've just discovered it on our map. Switch to first speed. There we go. They're heading over this way. I really like, um, I think, Oh, I always forget its name. Ocran's Pride because it's so green and it doesn't hurt your eyes to look at. Alright. So now that we're here. 
You, the, you guys are belt traders and the rogue holy trader. No, I need to talk to whoever owns this place. Various guards, bone dogs. There is your owner. All right, guys, I found the trader. He was inside this small house, which I wish said shop or something. But if we go in here, got any animals for sale? Wow. Ideally, we would like a Garu, but they don't have any Garus here. It's pretty annoying. And ideally with high strength, um, because the higher, the higher their strength, the more they can carry. But it doesn't look like they have any good Garu here, so I guess we can see what he has to trade. Might as well. He's got animal bags. Actually, that this might be worth getting while we're healed. Oh, wait, no, they're bull bags. All right. So I guess that means we're going to have to find another holy farm. Thank you, Fully, because we're on Ocran's Pride. There's a whole lot of holy farms, so we've already spotted another one. Okay. I'm gonna wait for this to load. All right, there we go. So we should be closing in on the Holy Farm. All right, so I've just scouted out this area. I, w I originally wanted to set up in this area because first off, I'm pretty sure it has pretty good planting. Do we have any plants? Farming. Doesn't look like we have any farming research yet. But almost all the land near Ocran's Pride also has really good for fertility. Um, sadly, there's no ore nodes, so we won't be able to produce anything. So I don't think we're gonna get we're gonna set up. Oh, wait, there is actually one, all the way over here. There's one iron resource, and that's actually it though. So it's not a horrible place to set up, but I I'd prefer if there was at least one copper and one iron resource. So I think that instead, I was just looking around on the map again. This area looks fairly flat in Skinner's Rome, so I think we're going to send Chuck over there to explore it. And then I'll just come back once there's actually, once we actually make it there and we can see what's happening. Look at these people. Hungry bandits? Alright. So guys, we've just reached this sort of plateau um, on the map. I wouldn't even really call it a plateau, it's still fairly bumpy. Um, but apparently this rock right here is a uranium resource. Um, that's definitely added by a mod, but I'm like... <laughs> a uranium resource. Hopefully that's not the only resource that's here. Ooh, that's iron, okay. It's definitely, ooh, there's a holy mine ruin nearby too. This might be a really good place to set up actually. Because the holy mine ruins, is that a copper? No, that's not a resource zone at all. What else is there around here? There's another iron resource. We might set up against this cliff actually. Um, let's go check out whatever that is. I'm mainly looking for a copper resource. I did see one on the way here. So there is one fairly nearby, but we'd still have to run out fairly far. But, wow, that's a lot of stuff. We might not even have to buy anything if we use all the stuff here. Um, yeah, I think we actually, we'll probably actually just set up here. Um, I wish I knew I could, how I could check the fertility. Well, I can check the fertility. But doesn't look like yet yeah, we can't use any of that stuff they're all prospect yep you stood on solid ground prospect all right fertility this seems to be decent uh stone it doesn't really matter we can just create a stone mine iron we saw there's a little bit of iron around here copper sadly there's no copper around here which is kind of annoying, but I think this will be a decent place to set up base. So while we were away with Chuck and Izumi, um, and I guess with our new character slash animal Daisy, um, 
Mitchell and Kathy ground up, or grinded, however you want to say it. Um, 18 raw copper, but I don't know where Zumi is. Oh, you're just stood out there. Why? Okay. Um, it's not a very safe space for you to be. So how about you just run over there? I'm surprised she wasn't ambushed by something. Considering even our bowl made it back, but okay. We can have Daisy, well, no. Yeah, we can have Daisy pick it up. She can just throw it all in our inventory. And she can hold 15 raw copper in each slot, which is a lot. And it's still weightless. So, she can store a lot. But while our other people are doing that stuff, I think we should start planning out our base. As we don't have any walls yet or anything, we're just going to be able to do a little bit. But we can still put down a small shack. Oh no! That's kind of annoying. But we can't put it over here. What's the farthest? Yeah, we're gonna have to build our wall like right here ish. Connect it up to this mountain. Oh, but we're also gonna have to like. Hmm. I don't know about that actually then. We might just be better off setting up somewhere in the center here. Like this. Just creating a round wall around us. Yeah, how about we do that? There's also these little mountains, or whatever you want to call them. Yeah, look at all this stuff. Alright, so we're going to have Chuck build that. He should... I'll just put him on engineer. And then we can send him over here. Apparently there's stuff he can... Storage. Various storages he can loot still. There's even like stone processors and stone mines. This was a pretty good find. Building materials. Let's grab all of them. I think it's like five. Did he just walk through that wall? Yeah, he's definitely walking through the walls. Um, I don't think you're supposed to be able to do that. So I'm going to fix the mesh data. But he should now be able to start constructing our first building. So nearby, actually near Chuck, where our future base is going to be, uh, apparently there's these Orion Krakutas. They have a lot of attack. Like, 49? They're much stronger than even adult bulls. Wow. Following leader. Wow, okay, they're super tough, actually. Thankfully, we can avoid all these animals. Alright. And now we also get an icon of our outpost. So let's just walk in here and close the door for now, because I don't want, uh, I, I, I guess you could call him our main character, to die because the door was open. Well, let's just build a small research bench, three building materials should be fine. Oh, we still have some left over? I guess we do. Okay. But uh, maybe we should go and try and loot these guys. You know what? Yeah, sure. Let's go and loot them. I hope I hope we don't come to regret this. Animal horns worth of three hundred if they're in a pair. A lot, bunch of meat and a bunch of animal skins. Wow, this is actually going to be worth quite a bit of money. And they just left it all here. I mean, they are animals, but still, like, it's a lot of money. All right. That was a pretty easy, uh, let's see. Um, if each one's worth 150, 15 times eight, 100. It should be like 1,200 cats, just in animal horns. And each one of these is worth 210, so that's gonna be a lot of money, like 3,500-ish cats. 
so we should have just made quite a bit of money from that and then because we don't want Chuck to be over encumbered when he makes his way back to the rest of the people so that they can all move together um, we can just create a quick storage box crafting storage does it matter oh no maybe it does matter all right it looks like I'll have to do some research before we can do that um, but we'll probably do that off camera but I think with all that said and done I think this is a pretty good ending point for the video we got a new animal slash character um, who can act as a hauling beast for us um, we're gonna make a decent amount of money just from these guys farming up stuff um, and we also set up a basic base so I think off camera I'm gonna do a little bit of research nothing that requires research books because um, I think that's kind of more an important decision because it actually uses resources uh, but I'll do all the basic research that doesn't require any books um, I'll probably also farm up a little bit more money so that we can kind of jump into more base building stuff next episode um, but with all that said if you guys did enjoy please like comment share and subscribe it really does help out my channel as it, we're a pretty small channel um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a great day, and goodbye.